This was the scene after Cyclone Ian hit Tonga. Winds gusting up to 287 kilometers per hour left parts of Hyapai Islands flattened. Tonga's director of emergencies says there is more damage than they anticipated. It was one of the strongest storms to hit in decades. The military and aid groups are trying to reach people by boat, but it's been difficult to get to some of the worst hit areas like Hyapai Island because of rough... Little is left standing on the worst hit islands of Hyapai. Australian Tongans who were visiting relatives felt blessed to escape with their lives. The Category 5 cyclone destroyed almost everything in its path. In the northern islands of the Harpai group, thousands of people are still unable to return to their homes. A week after the cyclone hit, uh, most of them don't actually ask for anything, but everything around them speaks to the urgent need to I don't know what can I do now, because I'm very upbeat. Tents and tarpaulins are being brought in for the many now rendered homeless. We're in the thousands, and hopefully we'll be. Official assessments have now been made. Emergency officials say the priority is to provide food, shelter, water and sanitation. We can't go on pretending day by day that someone somehow will soon make a change. We are all a part of God's great big family and the truth. We are the ones to make a way in the sense of healing. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Their cries for help will not be in vain. We can't let them suffer. No, no we, we cannot, cannot turn them to away. Right now, they need a helping hand. Hey. No, someone <laughs> love. We are the children. We are the ones who make a right. The extent of the damage won't be known until further assessments are made, but it's expected to be months, not weeks, before life returns to normal for these residents. Sam Belitho, ABC News.